So right before I came on air here, a um, little bit of breaking news. We have the results from the Democrats Abroad primary. And um, and nice little good news sprinkled into the day at a time when the apocalypse is currently unfolding right in front of us. Bernie Sanders got 57.9% of the vote. Joe Biden got 22.7% of the vote. Um, which means that Bernie has won the Democrats abroad primary, which means nine delegates for Bernie and four for Biden. All right, nice. <laughs> it ain't over till it's over. Um, now, we know the overwhelmingly likely scenario, but still, you know, nothing like a little pick me up in the beginning of the day. They announced this at a weird time. They announced it at 10 a.m. today. Um, I, I've never uh, I've never heard of anything being announced at such an odd time, but hey, the results are, uh, you know, right in line with something that I would like and you would like. So I uh, wanted to give you a little something to bring a smile to your face as, again, we're about to get into what feels like the end of the world <laughs> with almost every other story that we're going to do today. So um, does this massively change the nature of the race? No, it doesn't. Um However, you know, I would love it if Bernie Sanders stayed in the race for a variety of reasons, including um, giving me the opportunity to vote for him again, as I did in 2016. Um, I told you guys it feels really good to vote for somebody who you know you agree with on the overwhelming majority of the issues, somebody who represents you in uh, perhaps a way that no other politician will for the rest of our lives. I hope that's not the case, but it very well may be the case. So that feels um, really good. And then also, him staying in allows him to use his prominence and his position uh, to do good in the world. And we're actually seeing that right now. Uh, he just did a fundraiser where he raised $2 million for the coronavirus relief effort. So he's using this position, he's using his prominence, he's using the fact that he's still in the race to do good. He's also been doing regular, um, you know, speeches on the coronavirus, laying out a specific plan. Um, he has some of his surrogates as well taking part of this. Uh, Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan Omar, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. They're, they're working together to come up with a comprehensive response to what's happening right now. And um, also to continue to pressure Biden, continue to, you know, keep him, I was going to say honest, but we all know he's not honest, <laughs> keep him more honest than he would be if Bernie was out. So I hope, and then also the most important one I forgot to tell you is, yeah, I mean, you never know, there might be some sort of a health issue that happens with Biden and Bernie should stay in the race for that reason. Just hang around. Now, again, I'm not... You know, I have I have perfectly clear vision. I'm not, you know, I'm under no illusions about what's likely going to happen. Believe me. Um, but still, I think him hanging around is a good idea. And uh, nothing like a little bit of good news to start the day. Bernie Sanders is the winner of the Democrats abroad primary.